JLM Lubricants Professional Range saves workshops time and money if used correctly. These instructions show how you can make the most from our chemical expertise. JLM Lubricants Two-Step DPF Cleaning Treatment is our ultimate on-car solution for block diesel particulate filters. Our process removes soot and reduces particulate filter pressures. The car can then self-clean, making aggressive forced regenerations unnecessary. Check for fault codes and note the DPF's pressure differential readings. Compare live data from a pressure measuring instrument against the onboard diagnostic figures. Assess the pressures at both engine idle speed and 2,500 RPM. Deploy the JLM DPF on-car cleaning treatment if you suspect a soot blockage. Connect the toolkit to your compressed air supply and check that all connectors are in good condition. Wear waterproof gloves that comply with EN374 and tight sealing goggles, not forgetting long-sleeved, oil-resistant clothing. Pour the Step 1 cleaning fluid into the canister and assemble the gun body. Select the adapter that facilitates a tight fit into the pressure sensor pipe. Squeezing the trigger will dose a precise quantity of cleaning solution into the DPF. Once the canister is empty, let the cleaning fluid soak for 15 minutes as it dissolves the soot particles. Position a catch tray beneath the tailpipe. Run the engine at idle speed for 5 minutes. Increase the engine speed to 1500 RPM for 15 minutes before returning to tick over. By now, the cleaning fluid has penetrated deep inside the DPF. Disable the exhaust gas recirculation. For Euro 6, reduce the injection time by squeezing the trigger for 10 seconds before releasing for another 10. You may notice foam or steam emanating from the tailpipe. This is normal. Pour half of the Step 2 flush fluid into the canister. Inject it into the DPF with an idling engine. Hold the engine speed at 1500 RPM for 15 minutes to redistribute the soot particles. Allow the engine to return to idle speed. Inject the remaining 750 milliliters and repeat the exercise. For Euro 6 cars, start at 1500 RPM before increasing the engine speed to 2500 revolutions per minute. Do not forget the 10 seconds inject, 10 seconds rest technique until you have used up all of the remaining step 2 flush fluid. The oily flush may emerge from the exhaust as foam as the process prepares the system for an active regeneration. Cut the engine after letting it idle for several minutes. Read the fault codes, check exhaust pressure readings from both the EOBD and your pressure reading tool. There should be a substantial reduction. Assist the regeneration process by dosing either our diesel DPF Regen Plus or DPF Cleaner into a full tank of diesel fuel. Take the car out of the city and onto the open road. Maintain constant speeds and constant loads where road conditions allow for at least 30 minutes. Once regeneration is complete, return to the workshop. With the engine idling, check for fault codes and verify that the DPF pressure differential readings have reduced to normal. As with any repair, prioritize the manufacturer's instructions because details will vary. Identify why the DPF is blocking, otherwise it will do so again very quickly. Empty bottles can be recycled with waste oil containers. The gun and the hose should be rinsed with water. As the engine oil is likely contaminated with diesel, it is recommended to dose JLM engine oil flush before performing an oil change. For more information about how JLM lubricant saves time and money, contact your local distributor or check out our website.